Welcome back to the Transport Bandit channel. I'm Cheryl. I'm Jeff or Mr. Dimples, in case you don't know. I think they, biker not, types. I think they already know that. They might, they might not. Who knows? What are you doing picking it? <laughs> you had something on your lip. What are we? <laughs> Ethiopians? I gotta keep him groomed, right? Look at that. Yeah, I'm one to talk. Look at me. I mean, well, I didn't is... mean to say Ethiopians. <laughs> yeah, be politically yeah. correct. Whatever. <laughs> well, in any case, we're going to start the fun side of RV transport because yeah. we just delivered. It's gorgeous. We're out here in Salina City, or Salina City, Utah, right? Yeah. And there, it, there's snow everywhere. It's gorgeous out here in this it little is. hometown. We asked them where the uh, nearest place to get breakfast or brunch is, and they said Mom's Cafe. Now, I had looked up Mom's Cafe many years ago when we came through here on our motorcycles and they did and it said that this was the place to eat in this entire region yeah it's supposed to be really good we'll see let's try it out let's hey, get sure. yeah would you like a typewriter i do not want a typewriter why do you say that because there's a typewriter store over there a typewriter store that's the great thing about these you ever heard of a, i mean a typewriter store yeah but that's the great thing about these um old little point small town places yeah. all, all right. right let's go into mom's cafe and get us some breakfast brunch lunch whatever you call it whatever it is let's go let's go That. Look how good that looks. Oh my gosh. What kind of cake is that? This is a birthday cake, you know, with all the different things in it. Oh, that look. Is, doesn't that look so good? Oh, that is so tasty looking. <laughs> and what kind of cake is this? It's just a chocolate and a devil's food. Kind of. Devil's food. Oh, that looks excellent. Now come look at these pies, guys. All right, look at this. That looks delicious. Mom's famous hamburger. Pretty decent looking hamburger and good looking fries. Looks pretty good. The taste will be what it's supposed to be. Now that is one good cheeseburger. It is. It's delicious. Yep. It's not gigantic, but it's quality. Good. Oh, that's it's really good. But my fries are super good. Let's dig in. And you get your own cold bottle of fry sauce. I love fry sauce. Now, Mom's Cafe has been in business since 1926. What a great little cafe. Stuffed full from Mom's Cafe in Salina, Utah. Oh, yeah, it was delicious. Hand patted burger. The cheese had an excellent flavor to it. It comes with fry sauce. Yeah, hand cut fries. Hand cut fries. That's hometown goodness right there. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, we're going to try and hit those mountains and get and back across Utah over to Colorado. Yeah, and hit more mountains in Colorado. Let's go. And we'll try to make it to Ure. Yeah. I don't know. It might be dark by the time we get there. And I don't know how much snow they got. They get a lot of snow. Right? Yeah, hopefully. We'll see. We'd like to go to the hot springs in snow and show that to you. So, let's go. We are leaving Salina, Utah, and we don't have another services for the next 109 miles. That's how remote this is. But isn't it gorgeous?
Isn't this beautiful? This is gorgeous, Jeff. Isn't this gorgeous? We're in the last stretch coming into Uray, Colorado on Highway 550. And this is one of our favorite places in the entire United States. Wouldn't you say, Jeff? I'd say the world. It is, it is just awe-inspiring. And we are headed to Uray Hot Springs now. And this is just amazing. We've never been here in the winter time and it's just blowing our mind at, at the beauty of it all. That's the condition they had used culture. We are entering into the town of Ure shortly. And this is one of the prettiest places that we can ever imagine. Right here in Uray, Colorado. Okay, we're here at the Uray, Colorado Hot Springs Park. So we made it. We made it. We're at Uray, Colorado at yeah. the hot springs. It's like 18 degrees out here. And it's snowy. Look how snowbound we are. Yeah. It's 18 degrees and we're going swimming. We're going swimming. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be awesome. I'm going to show you all about it. It's got the most magnificent scenery. Right here is the pool house and the, the hot springs are right here. But the amazing scenery that you have while you're sitting all around the pool is just crazy gorgeous. Our favorite place like in the whole world. So come with us to Ure Hot Springs. We've always been here in the summertime, but never in the winter. We've always wanted to come to the hot springs here while there was snow on the ground with all these beautiful snow-capped mountains around. Yeah, I don't know why it's freezing out here. <laughs> no, we're gonna go play in the hot springs. Let's go. And here's the temperature. We're going to the Overlook Pool and the Hot Pool. Today is 20% off because the shallow pool, which we never go in anyway, are closed. 105 degrees. I'm really looking forward to it. Come on over. Yeah. Hey. I just told this nice young lady that we've never been here in the winter. Not in the winter. It's the best in the winter. It is the best it's of the, the winter. Best in the winter. I'm so excited. Especially in the snow. In the snow with all those beautiful snow-capped mountains. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so great. Thank you. All right, let's go in the changing room and then we will beat you guys outside. Go get your swimming panties on and we will go take a dip in the hot spring. And it's fabulous. Yeah, it is. It's amazing. And you're not even cold, right? Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not cold out here. I'm, um, I'm warm from here down. I know. The water is fantastic. You can see all the steam. Look at the gorgeous scenery that we have around us. It is phenomenal here. Thanks, sir. What a fun place Thanks, this is. Show the lifeguard. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here. Okay, so here's the lifeguard. Okay, this is not the Baywatch costume normally seen by lifeguards. And everybody's having such a great time here at the Hot Springs Pool. 105 degrees in the pool. It's awesome. Just a beautiful place. Marco Polo! Marco Polo! <laughs> Marco Polo! <coughs> Okay, Jeff, is this the fun side of RV transport or it what? <laughs> now we're in a really hot pool. 
It's like 140 degrees. <laughs> it's not quite that. I think it's what, 105? I don't know, but what's wild um, is when you get in and out of the pool, you gotta be careful because there's ice on the railings. There's ice on the railings, but uh, here in the pool, it's it feels wonderful. I mean, if you've never tried sitting in a hot tub when it's 18 degrees outside and snow on the mountain, I encourage you to try that. Cause it, I, gotta, yeah. I gotta tell you, I don't know how I'm gonna make it from here to the changing room. <laughs> Back to the changing room. <laughs> but we will, we will make it. But I love this. I love this so much. I mean, look at it. This is our view. It's just gorgeous out here. Okay, it's getting to be nighttime now, so we're going to call it an evening in beautiful Ure Hot Springs. That's it for Ure Hot Springs. Jeff, did you have a problem with your goatee? I did. My <laughs> goatee got wet, but then when my head was out of the water, ice froze into my beard. <laughs> yeah. It was weirdly crunchy. <laughs> yeah, all crunchy ice it is a uh, yeah. goatee. Crazy. <laughs> It's like what, 18, 17 degrees out here? Yeah, probably uh, colder than that now. That's what it was about, when we got in. It's probably about 12 degrees now. But also, I got out of the water up to about, you know, like midsection here. Yeah. And certain other parts of me, like. <laughs> started to develop ice. Right here, you know, <laughs> those round things there, got glazed over with ice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, enough talking about that. Hey, well that's it for our Ure Hot Springs experience. It's great in the water, terrible out of the water. Yeah, it's really <laughs> cold. All right, good night for tonight. We will see you in the morning. Now, even though it's night, we thought we'd show you a taste of what Ure, Colorado um, really looks like hooray for Ure. Colorado is um, at the one end of the Million Dollar Highway with Durango, Colorado being at the other end of the Million Dollar Highway, which is probably our favorite motorcycle road in all of America. It's harrowing to say the least, but stunning. If I ha can find some photographs of the Million Dollar Highway, I'm going to insert them right here. You're going to see them and let me show you just a little clip it of the Million Dollar Highway. Good morning. We are bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Got us a motel last night and it has warmed up to a balmy 19 degrees. I'm bushy tail, but I don't know how bright eyed I am. He's not very bright eyed. <laughs> we're not sure what we're going to get into today. We are. We were thinking about stopping at Glenwood Hot Springs, but we're not sure as of right now. Yeah, I don't know if I'm in the mood to freeze my cojones <laughs> off. Your cojones off. <laughs> so we may just roll on back across the Rockies and make our way back to Indiana, although there are a couple of big snowstorms 
preventing us from getting to Indiana right now. Like we can't go across Kansas. Kansas is completely shut down. Uh, so we may try Denver and then up. But uh, you know, if you like that video from last night where we were in the hot springs, it was just fabulous. That was really neat. Yeah, you need to lock it. Uh, sh and share it. And comment down below. And um, what else are they gonna do, Jeff? Thanks for watching the Transport Bandits. Transport Bandits, out. out.